Yeah, yeah Miss Colton was, was a little vague. Nine. Yeah. All right, uh, do I hear a motion to come out of executive session? So moved. By Mr. Motion by Mr. Morris and second by Mr. Cross. All in favor say aye. Uh, uh. Uh, motion carries. Let the record reflect uh, <coughs> no action taken. I believe we need to add a few things to the agenda. Uh, Ms. Oster? Yes, we do. Uh, the first thing I have is the authority to pay a negotiated settlement to Felicia Thomas in the amount of $5,200. So motion moved. to add it by Mr. Bishop. Second by Mr. Gaines. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, like sign. Motion to approve by Mr. Bishop. Motion to second by Mr. Gaines. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, like sign. Motion oh, well, I may just give you the hand sign. Signals. Yeah. Second, second item I have is uh, authority uh, for the personnel recommendation on the comptroller to be added to the consent under the personnel section. Motion by Mr. Cross. He beat you that Sorry. time. Second by Mr. Bishop. All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed like sign. Motion carries. We, Mr. Approved we by might Mr. not better Cross. do that. <laughs> second <laughs> by Mr. Bishop. All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed like sign. Motion carries. Ms. Oster. Um, I'm not sure what Y'all were saying how you'd need this worded on the design, authority for engineering services to? Most of design. Authority for engineering services to design the uh, resolution of the Mill Creek litigation. Based uh, on by the. By virtue of the report for Bill Colson. Okay, I'll make that motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Cross, second by Mr. Morrison. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, like sign. Motion carried. That was to add it to the agenda. I'm sorry. Motion to approve by Mr. Cross, second by Mr. Morrison. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Anything else? Nothing to add. I just have something I need to uh, ask y'all real quick. Uh, you had already approved the eGov to update our website. Um, I've been contacted by them again, told them that we needed to hold off a little bit longer because we don't have. Um, anybody there that can handle this at the time but they wanted to know because of the amount they quoted us if we could go ahead and pay what we agreed to the $1,875 now to hold our spot at this amount and then they'll have us on the program and whenever we get somebody in here that's up to y'all what you this will go toward yeah yes. I say oh, go ahead and pay oh, it yes and, it goes toward and, it and you making that motion yeah. to add that to the agenda <laughs> sure We've already approved it. Second. We already approved to do this item, but I do need authority outside of the docket to cut the check. Motion by Mr. Bishop. So Mr. Agenda. Second by Mr. Gaines. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed like sign. Motion carried. Motion. motion to approve by Mr. Bishop. Second by Mr. Gaines. All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed like sign. Motion carried. What else? One other question. Uh, the health department did vacate the office that they only had the storage in so that um, elections could go over there. However, the air conditioning unit in there is out. It's going to cost $8,000 to replace ah. it. Uh, I think I the, the main reason is need to go over is for these, uh, do these tablets. You know? Right. And yeah. right now, Tanya said it's comfortable right now. It's not too bad because it's just occasionally they do that, but as summer progresses, it's going to get really hotter in there and that feeds that room. I know we're, you know, trying to wind down in that building, yes. but that I is Johnny. Going, got, we say wind down. How are we going? When we do get everybody out, what is going to be the maintenance of that building going forward? I don't know, I and I know we can't completely much. mothball it, so I don't know if we're going to have to maintain the air system, but at a different. In there or well, well, we are going to store, store records. Store record. record. If you're there, storing records, it's got to be climate. Right. So we're so. going to have to maintain. Well, we're not getting the read. building That's anyway. Yeah, yeah. we got time to talk about that. We Somebody. do, but I just wanted to know: Do y'all want me to go ahead and tell Johnny to spend the eight thousand? I mean, we're going to have to maintain the Think building the anyway. AC at Home Depot. I don't know that there's a square window footage in there that we can talking do. About. I guess there is. Sir, how big a square footage is? It? I do not know. And I asked Johnny. I said, for this one area, and he said it is the unit that controls. That particular, I don't know if it's more than that, but that area, and he said it's going to cost. Give us a round. week to look at it. Okay, and, I just and, and let him give us a report. Too. Okay, I will do it. Thank uh, you. Anything else? Motion to recess. No, 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 we do have something else. Uh, the Oak Grove project. You know, we had the bids come in, and they are relatively high. This morning, y'all were telling me that. You wanted us to reject them all because of some wording. We're going to get sued and whatnot. Yeah, we don't know that. What we have is, uh, and I'm still waiting to get it from Chris Bass, uh, but uh, we have a contact message from, from 
one of the bidders who is not. It shouldn't be in executive session. Sir. This shouldn't be an executive session. No, well, it, 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 there's not a specific threat of okay. litigation, okay. so it's okay. Um, we, we have communication from one of the bidders that is not the apparent low, um, indicating their belief that the apparent low bidder is not qualified to render services being that's been uh, that was subject to bid for failure to meet all of the requirements of the certificate of responsibility. As you know, each contractor who bids on projects has a certificate of responsibility number and that indicates their qualification for the work that's being called for. It's what they're certified in, okay? Uh, and so our, our bid specs require specific certifications. So the argument is this guy who's the parent load does not have the required certification as per the bid specs. Hmm. So you can't consider that bidder move to the next one. And his argument is, well, your next one's just as bad off. He doesn't need it either. So eventually you're going to get to this, this complaining party. You're going to eventually get to him because I think he'd be the third or the fourth, wouldn't he? Well, the, actually the third bidder uh, uh, error in his bid in his <laughs> math. So he moved down. And, Oh, moved up. Ah, so it, uh, but, well, how, how does this relate to you guys? Well, you know, let's just go on and, and accept that it, uh, no. number one and number two don't qualify, and number three had an error, so he's pushed out, and so now we're down to number four. It's a big deal. Can we just say we don't like any of them? Yes, sir. And rebid it. Yeah. Reject. Start that's, over, that's what, what, that's what it would be. Yeah, but yeah. you know, man, I've done to all these people, and there's people looking to get this thing done. You know, yeah. I well, mean, what's this the, been we're talking about difference in cost. Uh, years in the process. What's, the, what's talking about difference well, in cost? If you went down to one, oh, four hundred thousand. Wait a minute. Now. Bid when we originally started talking about it, it was projected like one point two million dollars, and now we're looking at one point eight million dollars. To go under the person. Now, if we come back and split this, or if we come back and rebid it, <coughs> is the low bidder going to qualify this time? Do they well, have they get to act the yeah. or another one coming certifications to be able to do this? We're going to include an addendum with the bid package that says if you have these particular certifications, you will qualify. We will, we're going to spell that out in the bid pack. That way, uh, and, uh, and the, the, this complainer is <laughs> not going to be able to come back and say he doesn't qualify because we're going to say in the front end, on the front end. Well, now, yeah. I did have the vendor, one of the vendors call me, and his concern was that he's not done this type of work before. <laughs> and I don't really want somebody out here that – Qualified yeah. that has not done this work and before. You can certainly take that into consideration at the time that you consider the bids and the recommendations. We'll give them some, <laughs> let them put some kind of a uh, history behind. You don't even have to do that, Jerry. The, well, no, I mean board, to keep you from having to look like you. Yes. You're not but, giving them a fair shake. But, but this board can ask those specific questions. How qualified are they? What are some projects that they're supposed right. to say? Why don't the answer to that is none. Then you can say, you know what? That we're not interested in hooking up with guys first time on the job is with this project. Well, I'd almost want to put that in the we had in real requirements. requirements. Uh, we had for, uh, previous, uh, uh, and well, the problem is we're dollars now. One way or the other on well, we wouldn't got let the contract, no honestly, but Edmund's going to sue us. So, all right, folks, I'll entertain a motion. Work. Uh, Bishop, you got a motion? I just, man, it's, uh, I don't, I'm in a no-win situation here. I mean, uh, it's, a, it's about a 60-day delay is what Chris and I talked about. It's about a 60-day delay. We, if y'all decide today to reject a rebid, we can have the notice of bids in the paper next week. No, we, right. okay. hang on. Now, I talked to Chris last week. He suggested there might be some possible savings if we were to split this and do since it's two different type of projects uh, is that a reality I mean I don't want to come back at 1.8 million dollars honestly uh, well, if you were going to split it, you still have to go through that process in my opinion 
right. you know, because some of it, some of it is, is what I call real hard shell construction. Some of it is line impacts. You yeah. Do that in any kind of work that we got. So I think that's what he was talking about. As far what's as what's you yeah, fixing out pretty well if you're out. You see them all? I mean, you got six some months, of them eight months, were there. Or 60 days. Some of them that were better priced on the line. Get to Christmas. Where they, they yeah, might I mean, do that the, part. The risk you run is, and I think that's what Chris was talking about. I had, I had, we haven't had this specific discussion, but I'm guessing maybe what he's saying is that uh, the, the line, and if it was brought out, and then a, a contractor that just does lining could be it, and then somebody lays pipe could be the other, and potentially you could get to get better prices. What? There's no guarantee of that. That's the problem. Yeah. Well, I don't, can't get them. Can you bid it both ways? Huh? Okay. No. Well, no matter what, no. we don't have a choice because we can't just award it to the high one because then the low one's going to sue us. We can't lower it to the low one because then the high one possibly sue us. So, right. All right. right. What's the motion, Mr. Bishop? I make a motion. We reject them all and rebid, and uh, hopefully okay. we'll get a better price. But I want to do sure this. You can't, Jessica, clear. Jessica, you catching this? Can we get it in the paper this week? Next week. Not this week. A motion has been made by Mr. Bishop to reject all bids and re-advertise. Sir? That's to add that to the agenda. Second by Mr. Cross. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed like side. Motion to approve by Mr. Bishop. Second by Mr. Cross. All in favor say aye. All opposed like sign. Are you going to make sure to get some clear clarification in there? Yes, sir. You don't want to run this again? No. Okay. We'll make sure there's an agenda that spells out specifically the COR, uh, the certificate responsibility, those areas that are qualified to bid, we'll get that in an addendum. And that they don't need to come in $1.8 million. <laughs> Y'all have got the marching orders. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, like side. Motion carries. Anything else? And that included to be advertised. Ma'am? Yes, ma'am. That was it, yeah. Anything else? Motion to recess to May 31st, 9 o'clock. So moved by Mr. Cross, second by Mr. Morrison. All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed, like sign. See y'all then. Sheriff, I need to.